After an efficient 24-month campaign, the Air Force took a decisive step and brought a millinery relic into the 21st century, the Rapid Dragon. With a modernized system of palletized projectiles, the weapon is expected to provide the upper hand for the United States' defense in any conflict around the globe. This new palletized munition system is being developed to launch a series of missiles from cargo aircraft, such as the C-130 and C-17, without having to modify them, and allowing them to drop the weapon and carry on with their mission. A successful test carried out with live munitions in late 2021 proved the efficiency of a weapon that ancient armies never even dreamed of, taking a step forward into the future of warfare. Technological Evolution About a thousand years ago, the Chinese military developed a devastating and staggering weapon in which entire armies could be neutralized under a reign of destruction. The so-called Jilongche, or rapid dragon carts, were multiple crossbow bolts launched simultaneously by a single trigger. The powerful concept endured and evolved over the centuries, and the US Air Force has just brought it to life again, only with modern, high-end technology. The Air Force version of the Rapid Dragon is an airborne delivery system for 21st century weapons. Not unlike its ancestor, the new palletized munitions system has the potential to unleash an avalanche of salvos on top of remote adversaries from aircraft that can then continue with further missions. The Air Force Research Laboratory's Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation Office's project is an experimental campaign dealing with palletized munitions and their operational advantages. The project's main focus is to allow these long-range weapons to be airdropped from existing airlift platforms, like the C-130 and C-17, without modifying current aircraft. Palletized munitions are traditional weapons, airdropped from existing cargo aircraft by a custom-designed deployment box on a standard airdrop platform. Its roll-on, roll-off capabilities enable rapid fielding while avoiding aircraft modification. By rapidly deploying palletized munitions, the airspace can be saturated with multiple weapons and effects, thus complicating rival targeting solutions. Moreover, the ploy could help in critical target prosecution by opening access and depleting the enemy's munitions stockpile. Furthermore, palletized munitions could be helpful in sea mining missions, restricting sea lane or harbor activities, and facilitating adversary cost imposition by driving a reallocation of resources under a new concept of operation. Also, its capability as a force multiplier can be extended to partners and allies, further expanding the reach of American defenses in case of limitation across different scenarios, including aircraft availability. Rapid Dragon's benefits are threefold. Tactically, palletized munitions provide overwhelming mass. Operationally, they free fighters and bombers for other key missions within the area of responsibility. And strategically, the weapon enables specific bombing capability to both foreign partners and allies, as well as across U.S. services, thus reducing the cost imposition curve. Plus, it is a potent means of deterrence. While current efforts have focused on a six-weapon configuration for the C-130 and a nine-weapon configuration for the C-17, the Rapid Dragon is not limited to such standards. In fact, it can be refined to increase payload capabilities with other weapon systems. Demonstration The multi-phase program has brought together stakeholders from across the Department of Defense, the Air Force Major Commander's Test and Evaluation Enterprise, program offices, and the engineering industry. The project has already undergone the mandatory phases, from modeling, simulation, and analysis to demonstration and flight tests. It was established in December of 2019 and was expected to reach powered flight within 24 months, and they succeeded. On December 16, 2021, the U.S. Air Force managed to destroy a target in the Gulf of Mexico during the first live-fire demonstration of the Rapid Dragon program. The final flight test at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida marked the beginning of a new era in military history. The sheer possibility of transforming cargo aircraft into potent armed bomb trucks would suffice to reimagine warfare. The Air Force executed a similar test a month before, although with an unarmed long-range cruise missile separation test vehicle. However, in the December test, the cruise missile carried by an MC-130J Commando II was armed, and the aircraft battle management system was fed new targeting data in flight, which was routed to the flight test vehicle. It was the first time new targeting data was received and uploaded to a live cruise missile during flight. 
Once the MC-130J reached the drop zone, the crew deployed the pelletized munition system loaded with a single cruise missile and three mass simulants. The system then parachuted into stability as the missile and dummies were subsequently released, thus avoiding collisions. The way the missile was deployed was unconventional, as it did so vertically, pointing down. Next, the missile sprung its wings and tail, and as it regained aerodynamic control, it started its engine and pulled up towards the target, destroying it upon impact. With this precedent, the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, hopes to prove that the system can work with other aircraft types, and a follow-up experiment is scheduled for the spring of 2022 to test the weapon with the C-17 Globemaster. In theory, the retargeting methods developed for Rapid Dragon should be adaptable to other platforms. The Air Force also expects to amplify Rapid Dragon's capabilities to house additional weapon systems, and the developmental prototype should be operational by 2023. Success. According to the AFRL, Rapid Dragon's quick development was an example of government and industry collaboration. And in the words of Dr. Dean Evans, Rapid Dragon's program manager, quote, Rapid Dragon was able to accelerate development by building a broad and strong team. We were committed to a test often, learn fast culture, dedicated to experimenting frequently and taking calculated risks. In addition to the MAGCOMs and air staff, the Rapid Dragon team included the developmental test and operational test communities, the aircraft and weapons program offices, and the mission planners. This collaboration from the onset streamlined the process and accelerated development, including groups from the program inception that are not normally included at the very early stages, and that has made all the difference. The Enterprise's measure of success came from the design becoming a system-level flight test within 10 months, and a live fire test only five months later. Also, over the last stretch of 2021, Rapid Dragon was tested on two different models other than the MC-130J, the EC-130SJ, and the C-17A. During the program, the AFRL Strategic Development Planning and Experimentation Office cooperated with its partners, Air Force Futures, Air Force Special Operations Command, and Air Mobility Command, and completed four phases. First, the concept feasibility was proven, as was the capability of the aircraft and joint air-to-surface standoff missiles in palletized configurations. Then, command and control, C2, fire control, and mission planning involving targeting and retargeting were developed. Simulation and ground tests subsequently validated deployment system designs and stability. And finally, high-altitude drop, jettison, and deconfliction of payloads during operation paved the way for powered flight tests. Major General Heather Pringle expressed that, quote, This type of experimentation campaign that addresses capability gaps and demonstrates transformative efforts helps us shape future requirements and reduces timeline to fielding. This approach ultimately enables a rapid fielding alternative to traditional lengthy acquisition timelines. Such successful achievements as the Rapid Dragon's expedient development promise a dramatic increase in the availability of fires for combatant commanders to reach even more enemy targets for both US and allied mobility platforms, paving the way for a new type of warfare. Thank you for watching my video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more history-related videos. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.